What's up gamers? How are you doing today? Uh, I'm here to talk about a very interesting conversation about ableism and girls too. Because right now there's a lot of debate on if some content creators like my GT bot and Snap or Ableist or some others or is it back and forth and since I am disabled and I love this community I feel like I need to speak out but first you have to remember I'm just I'm just one person. I did. I'm. I'm uh, I am working for a disability organization too, and I asked them about the situation, and they agreed with me. Where two people did, but you so take ableism can be in any form and can affect different people differently. So take. Take my, take my, take my words with a grain of salt. So let's get into it. So there are two sides of this argument. I would try to summarize the two sides. Um, let me know if you, if I'm correct or wrong. And because. But so this is one. Oh, also, I'm uh, This is off the script, so I'm sort of gonna ramble. Um, I I apologize for that, but it is what it is. So the first side is Nab, Mighty Deeper, and other people are saying, "Yes, Dragon Hand is hard." But you can do it. We will, we will help you. We and you will succeed in love, and you and you can be good for. You can be good at this game. The other side is saying you shouldn't put that much pressure on on people because what if they are disabled and they can't physically or mentally do. What are you asking them to do? That's what I believe the two sides are fighting about, in my opinion. So, what best food talk about if I think my deeper in this name or ableist? No. Absolutely not. They're not ableist in one bit. They, they, they want to help me. People with disability will not do grill dragon and to understand the game to do well in the same game that we all love. They just want you to do, they don't want the people to do well. It's kind of like having a student that hate math and the teacher is trying to help the student to do well with math. It's the same concept. Would you say that you to be able to stick if that student is disabled? No. You to want to see them succeed. Want to see them do well in in the subject in the subject that they they in the subject that they love. That's that's why I don't think Snap or Mighty Deeper are being able to basic. To carry on with the teacher metaphor, there uh, there are two different mindsets that someone can have based on psychology. A fixed mindset where you believe intelligent talent and other qualities are innate and unchangeable, which means if you not good at something, you typically. Then you can never be good at it. 
by Gold says a growth mindset means you believe intelligent and talent and can be develop can develop with practice and effort. This true to the mindset is what the debate is really about. One side is saying they have a fixed opinion about people with disabilities, while the other is having a growth mindset about them. I believe we should always have a growth mindset of unless the person with a disability said, no, I need help with this thing. We shouldn't write off the bat, limit someone with a disability or without on what they can or can't do. Instead, we should, we should, we should believe in them to do well, and if they need help as a community, be, be the to to raise them up and to provide whatever help that they need. That's what. If we do that, then we can make the community even better and even more successful. On the flip side, I actually think those people that are calling mighty cheaper and stem ableists might have a little ableism in themselves because, because what they're saying is pretty much disabled people cannot be good at this game. Therefore, people shouldn't put a pressure on them. The underlying premise of this statement is that none, no disabled person can be good at girls too. That's the underlying premise. Well, of course, that's not true, but let's say it is. So that I did, I contacted Snap, Brazil, and t and asked them, where would they bring me, and what percentile would they say I am? I've played raids with Bacon Boy a fair few times now, and I think the most pertinent experience was doing Doom Challenge Mode, which is considered by myself and many others to be an awareness check and a test of how a player is able to handle mechanics while also doing damage. The run was not only Bacon Boy's first time seeing Doom Challenge Mode, but also his first time even seeing Normal Mode Doom, as it turns out. After a few picks, he was able to adapt very quickly and was able to handily survive all the way through the fight after just a few tries. I would say this accomplishment in a raid and speed of adaptation puts Bacon Boy in the top 2-1% to of all Guild Wars 2 players in terms of performance. The average, uh, the average ring was 8 and the percentage was, eight, was 90%. That means 90% of the people are not better than me. They are full. And since there was since I'm bad because I'm disabled, that means that 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 means ninety percent of people are really trash at this video game, and they shouldn't they shouldn't own in store because they should never never be good. Of course that's a lie. Of course that's not true. Therefore the premise fails on the on the ableism. And in turn you are the, the people that are spewing this information are the true ableists. No. I no I believe the art in the right but but in the right place, but I don't believe they were doing a good job at relating the mess. Like, it would be one thing to say all players, no, no, the majority of, the majority of players are cast, so therefore they can't do drag and then saying disabled people cannot 
cannot do it. Therefore, we need to fix it. Yes, of course, when someone has a disability, doesn't matter if it meant a physical or any disability or even mental illness, it will affect your gameplay. And that's when the community will need to help if if the person wants it. But saying, but overstating your bounds and saying, oh, we need to make this accessible for for disability for people with disability. That is overstepping. And that is wrong because you're pretty much saying if you have a disability, you can't play well in Guild Wars 2. You can't do Dragon Hand, even though I won pull it. Once, once you put disabled, you segregate disabled people with disabilities with with the general population, that is very close to atheism, in my opinion. I mean, there's some inequality, like in... I mean, there's some inequalities, then it would be okay. But for game, for this? No, 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 no. In my opinion, that's the wrong mindset. Because my defense, no. I would say, if you're not good at this game, we will help you. Like, I will name on myself. I can't speak for stamp on my YouTube or whatever, but I will literally sit, sit down with anyone for hours getting them better. Like, I have a plan. And I was in a corner queen, and I told all the trades, skills, weapons, everything. And right then I did a little bit of the rotation, but then I had to go. The next day I came in, she was doing 15 KTPS. I worked with her for an hour. She was up to 23k. People in their mind think... Being good at this game is harder than it is. I think, well, like, if you put a little bit of work, like an hour of work, you will be a decent player. You will be even good, maybe. All you need to do is to do a little bit of work. I have another thing that is direct and have a difficult time with reading reading stuff, so I sit down with her and just go through everything and now she's probably one of the top readers I know. So I just, if you want to get better, then just seek help. Seeking help is nothing to, seeking help is, is really good, it's me, you want to be improved. You do it good. Like any AA, AA, like any AA means start with. The first thing is acceptance. Well, let's get back. So, in, for Dragon specifically, I think anyone can be a positive power person in. in Dragon. That doesn't mean this DPS. That means can you not die? So people don't have to raise you and even your your old DPS maybe you will stay alive so you do more DPS than someone who die every five minutes. Every one minute. Well, can you provide boons? Are you a guardian? Can you Switch our skills. Can you? Can you dodge? Well, can you break bubbles? Can you break whirlpools? Do you know? 
Let's see skills. There's a lot of different things that you can do to be a positive player, even though you might not know exactly what you're doing. Like, my, my two favorite lines are do damage, don't die, and don't step in the bad stuff. If you can do those two things, you'll be instantly a positive player. Doesn't matter your rotation, doesn't matter your boom, output, doesn't matter your support. If you can do those two things, don't step in the bad stuff and do them and then don't die, you will be solid. That's all I have to say about Able. Quick recap. Snowman, Mighty T are not able to listen. and anyone that's uh, that's saying they are willing to help and want people to see it are most likely not able. To if people are saying people with disability cannot be in my dragon because they will bring they will bring the group down, that is ableism. That is ableism. But saying that you want to help everyone to do dragon, to be better at the game, that is not. People that are saying they are ableism, they are ableist because they are, they are putting pressure on people with disability, watch, and they might not be good at the game, watch, be very, very careful about what you say because you could be you you could be the one that are able is. So please be careful. Be careful of your words. Make sure your words are the right words you want to say. And be kind. Uh, try try to help people out. Give people information, give people knowledge. So just be, try to be a good business and we will kill Dragon all together. Please like, comment, and subscribe if, if you like the video, if you think I'm wrong and stupid, whatever. But that's it. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.